Let's pretend that you've always dreamed of scoring goals as a striker. However, your coach forces you to play all the way behind as a center back. So what do you do? Well, the answer is obvious. Just dribble the ball all the way up from the back by yourself and score. Easy, right? Well, not so much. Because as a defender, scoring goals are an incredibly rare and difficult opportunity to come by. However, throughout football history, there have been rare cases of defenders who've scored over a hundred goals in their career, with famous ones like Roberto Carlos who scored 113 goals or Sergio Ramos who scored 135 and counting. But even amongst them, there was an anomaly. A defender who scored goals so often, you just might think he forgot what his position was. Because with nearly twice as many goals as Ramos, Ronald Koeman scored an insane 252 goals in his career. That's more than players like Zinedine Zidane, and even more than Tony Cruz, Luka Modric, and Casemiro combined. In fact, he scored more goals than most top division strikers will ever see in their entire career scoring so many goals as a center back that there was even a season where he led the Champions League as the tournament's top scorer. But to see how he would eventually become that type of player, we have to go back to his origins in the small town of Zendam in the Netherlands. Koeman was raised with football at his feet. His father Martin would inspire his two sons, Erwin and Ronald, to take up the sport and developing them in the game as soon as they were born. And much like the rest of the Netherlands, they lived and breathed the sport. I mean, after all, the Netherlands are the greatest footballing nation to never win the World Cup. And they're also tied for producing the most Ballon d'Or winners of all time. And as a kid, Ronald Koeman would play so much football outside with his brother and father that his mother would literally throw them their food from their home balcony so that they didn't have to come back in and eat. And as he developed as a young player, Koeman would find a passion for defending as he had incredible strength despite not being exceptionally tall. And his father would notice just how incredibly powerful his kicks were for his age, eventually going on to suggest and start helping his son to put that strength to good use, continuously practicing what no other defender in his day was doing on a regular basis, focusing on improving his long passing, shooting, free kick, and penalty taking ability, which will be very important to note going on to the later parts of the video and just how his career would eventually progress. And over time, his prodigious talent would stand out even amongst such a footballing abundant country. Being that young and knowing what role you wanted to play, but still being obsessed enough about football to force yourself to go outside the box of what it means to be a defender is really what would make the young Koeman so different. He just truly lived and breathed the game. But if you can't get enough football and want to further surround yourself with it as much as possible, then today's sponsor, Timu, could help you do just that and save money along the way. Timu is the perfect place to get exactly what I need at an amazingly affordable price. They have literally anything you could think of. And trust me, that can be anywhere from essentials to electronic gadgets and yes, especially football related merchandise. Like this football pitch rug I got was an incredibly cool find I put in my room. Not only does it look and feel great, but it just gives me that incredible footy vibe. And when I add on this football plush pillow, it just makes it a whole lot better. But I also found some really useful stuff like this on the go footballing bag, which holds my boots, ball, and my water container, which yes, I all found from Timu as well. But honestly, you can find a bunch of quality balls here. And if you're lucky, you just might be able to find some amazingly priced boots as well. But it doesn't just have to be football. I also found this incredibly cool LED clock because heck, I just always needed one. And with Timu's prices just being so low and affordable, why not? But that's not all, because Timu has so much stuff that this doesn't even come close to scratching the surface. So make sure to download the Timu app now through my link or code in the description. And you can get coupon bundles adding up to $100 for free. So if you're ever looking for the perfect place to find whatever you need, download the Timu app now through my link or code in the description. And you can get coupon bundles adding up to $100 for free. Big thanks to Timu for sponsoring this video. He would eventually be signed by FC Groningen, where he would make his debut for the senior team at the age of 17 years and 183 days old, becoming FC Groningen's third youngest player to ever take part in a match for the club. And in his first season for the struggling club, he would taste victory only five times in 24 matches. However, even as the club struggled to dominate any match, the young defender showed himself to be an oddly gifted goal scorer, finding the back of the net six times in his first season. And at the end of his first year, FC Groningen just barely avoided getting relegated, only securing a measly 25 points the entire season. 
but this would just mark the beginning of Koeman's goal scoring journey, as by next season he would regularly be included in the starting 11, with the center back managing to score an impressive 15 goals and provide 6 assists that season, then following up in his third and final year with the club, scoring 12 goals and providing 7 assists, actually helping his small club secure a spot in the UEFA Cup. By now, the unusual goal-scoring center back was slowly building a reputation in the Eredivisie as a must-watch player with his incredibly unique skill set for the position, and it was enough for Dutch giant Ajax to go on and grab Koeman to help boost their squad. There, he would go on to win his very first piece of silverware in his career with the 1984-85 Eredivisie title, and he would only further add to his trophy case with a Dutch Cup title the very following season, because Koeman was not only scoring goals like he would every so often, but he would also be an absolute wall at the back line, playing alongside fellow Dutch legends like Marco van Basten up front scoring goals and Frank Rijkaard down the middle to connect the two, making for an absolutely monstrous lineup, because Koeman would go on to score a total of 31 goals and provide 19 assists in his three seasons for the club, an absurd stat line for someone who played as a center back. Because remember when I mentioned Koeman's father had trained him to make use of his monstrous shot power by practicing his passing, penalty taking, and free kicks despite his natural love of playing a more defensive role? Well, that training helped Koeman's on-ball composure, allowing him to showcase remarkable versatility, sometimes acting as a sweeper with exceptional vision and ball handling skills, which made him one of, if not the most, prolific attacking center back in the history of football. Koeman was almost like a marksman who had this uncanny ability to shoot the ball from distance. And it wasn't your normal shot, it was like a rocket launched into orbit. The power and precision he put behind those shots made goalkeepers and defenders hesitate while leaving fans in awe. In fact, Koeman has one of the five strongest shots ever recorded in football history, maxing out at 188 kilometers an hour. Just an absolute cannon coming from his right foot. In fact, when he would launch the ball, there were times he would even cause players to break down in pain from the sheer force of his shots. I swear, I'm not making this up and you can see for yourself. But even with power, Koeman definitely had accuracy and precision as well, and this was true especially when it came to his free kick ability. By 1. Unleashing a thunderous strike that could break through defensive walls, or by 2. Finessing the ball and curving it like a brushstroke, making it nearly impossible for the goalkeeper to save it when placed just perfectly into either corner. And it was this blend of power, accuracy, and finesse that would really set him apart. It's almost shocking to know that a center back was this accurate, consistent, and proficient at scoring free kicks, because you'll almost never see any other defender who could come even close to doing it as good as Koeman did. Because if you watched him solely from his goal scoring reels and didn't already know who he was, you'd probably have thought the man was a pure midfield maestro with the way that he would strike a dead ball. But arguably the thing he was known for best was no other than his insanely accurate penalty taking ability. Koeman had this amazing poker face when it came to taking penalties, because on one hand he could approach the ball like a charging bull, but on the other hand he would delicately place the ball into the bottom corner with a simple touch. The mind games he would play with goalkeepers during his penalty kicks were legendary. Sometimes he would take his sweet time, while at other times he would simply rush in. You could almost feel the tension in the air even watching through your screen as he approached the ball. That's how he would go on to score 111 out of 118 penalties that he would take in his career. A mind-blowing 94% accuracy with both big moments and sheer volume to prove he was genuinely one of the top three greatest penalty takers in football history. And if your life was on the line and absolutely depended on it, having Ronald Koeman be the one to take your penalty is definitely not a bad choice. But beyond his set piece and penalty taking mastery, Koeman was like a maestro in the back line. Imagine a calm and composed center back with the ability to read the game, anticipate the opposition press, and could still be an absolute unit of a defensive tank, able to handle even the strongest and most dominant of opposition players. He was truly one of the best options you could ever ask for in your back line. But after after his three seasons with Ajax, he would make the controversial move to rivals PSV. However, this was when Koeman would put on the best displays of his skill, scoring the most goals of his career and reaching his absolute peak. Because throughout the next three seasons, Koeman would go on to score a ridiculous 64 goals and provide 36 assists in 130 matches. That's an incredible 100 goal contributions throughout three seasons, or 0.80 goal contributions per game as a center back. 
There aren't even many midfielders or forwards who could manage to average that many goal contributions. Koeman would also achieve much more club success with PSV, claiming three Eredivisie titles, two Dutch Cups, and a legendary European Cup or modern Champions League title. I mean, again, if I were to tell a casual or maybe newer football fan the numbers that Koeman was able to produce as a center back, they probably wouldn't believe me. He was so good that during these years, he would also be named the 1987 and 1988 back-to-back -back Dutch Footballer of the Year, which just tells you how dominant and respected he was, even in such a stacked footballing generation that had names like Frank Rijkaard, Ruud Hulet, and Marco van Basten. Not to mention, in his final years playing in the Eredivisie, Koeman would also help his nation win the 1988 European Championships, being an incredibly crucial part of the squad, even infamously wiping his rear using the jersey of a West German player in a match where he would score a clutch game-tying penalty that would eventually keep them alive long enough to win the entire tournament. I mean, just imagine that, winning the 1988 Euros, then going on to win the treble with PSV later that year in his final season with the club. Just an absolutely insane peak that would place him fifth in Ballon d'Or voting. And with that, Koeman basically achieved everything you could within Dutch football. So after that incredible high, he would move on to the next stage of his career, playing for FC Barcelona. Now, FC Barcelona copyrights all my videos, so I apologize if I try to show as little footage as I possibly can. But anyways, Koeman would spend the most time of his career with the Catalan club, which would be six seasons of only further continuing his goal-scoring legacy under his former manager and fellow Dutch all-time great, Johan Cruyff, being a part of what would be known as Johan Cruyff's dream team. And to sum up his time with Barcelona, Koeman would have his biggest moment in club football during no other than in the 1992 European Cup or modern-day Champions League final as it would be no other than the unusual center back who would score the only goal in the final against Sampdoria off of no other than a free kick just outside the box to hand Barcelona its first ever European Cup title. Yeah, as hard as it is to believe, it was no other than a free kick from a center back that would basically give the Catalan club its very first Champions League title. And during his six years with the club, he would go on to win four consecutive La Liga titles in the 1990, 91, 91, 92, 92, 93, and 93, 94 season, alongside three Spanish Super Cups, one Copa del Rey, and one European Super Cup, eventually leaving as the club's highest scoring defender, and helping usher in the beginning of Barcelona's elite history. A true maestro in defense and a playing style harmony of power, finesse, and strategic brilliance. From unleashing thunderous long-range shots to delicately curving free kicks and the perfectly placed penalties, Koeman was truly a pioneer in redefining the role of a center back. His unique ability to be both a defensive rock and a goal-scoring phenom is a truly unparalleled anomaly till this day, cementing him as the highest scoring defender in history and securing him a unique legacy of a play style that we might never ever see again.